Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Review Wednesday. For today's Review Wednesday, we're going to be reviewing a very, very, very popularly requested product. We're going to be talking about Minimalist Salicylic Acid 2% Serum. Now, Minimalist overall is pretty requested, but even this product particularly has been so requested on my channel because this claims to fight blackheads, which seems to be the bane of most of our lives. So I'm going to be talking about my experience, the ingredients, some pH tests also in there. So if you want to know all of my opinions on this product then please keep on watching let's start with the basics the serum retails for rupees 549 and you get about 30 ml of product in there the serum is available online on minimalist's own site as well as on amazon the outer packaging for the serum looks something like this it comes in this black cardboard box and this box is filled with information there's just so much information on this box and i really do like that fact and when we talk about the actual packaging this is what it looks like and yes they did copy the ordinary they have admitted to that i think they are going to be changing the packaging but as of right now this is what I do see on their side. The packaging is pretty ordinary, no pun intended, but it is just pretty ordinary. It comes in a glass bottle with a pump. Let's talk about the claims that this product makes because there are only three claims that this product makes. It says that it will get rid of blackheads, it also keeps oil in check and gets rid of acne. So those are the three claims and now let's move on to the ingredients so we can talk a little bit more about it. The first ingredient of this product is aloe vera juice. Now they've not used water but aloe vera juice which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. Aloe vera juice is a pretty good humectant but a lot of people are allergic to aloe vera juice so it definitely depends on what your skin can tolerate but yes the base for this particular product is aloe vera juice then we have dimethyl isosorbide which is a solvent which helps with the activation of actives so it helps in the absorbency of the actives in your skin and improves their performance then we have propendiol which again is a solvent next up on our list is salicylic acid which is the active the BHA of the product that will help you get rid of the blackheads keep acne in bay and also check on your oil next up on our list we have ethoxy D glycol which is a solvent and an humectant. On the seventh number we have phenoxyethanol which is a preservative. Next up we have pululan which is a binder. Moving on we have ethyl hexyglycerin which is a weak preservative but also is a skin conditioner. Then we have hydroxy ethyl cellulose which is a binding agent and a thickener. Then we have xanthan gum which again is a thickening agent and a stabilizer. Then we have sclerotium gum which is a stabilizer. Sodium hydroxide is the next ingredient on our list which acts as a pH adjuster in this particular formulation. Next Next we have trisodium ethylene diamine disocinate which is a chelating ingredient. Basically it reduces the effect of heavy metals on the skin. And lastly we have lecithin which is an emulsifying and skin conditioning agent. Now let's talk about what this product is formulated without. Some of these ingredients are present throughout the range of minimalist. So the minimalist range is formulated without all of these products like dyes and sulfates. But then some are just particularly unique to this formulation. For example, there is no oil in this formulation. They say that salicylic acid in an oil does not perform as much as it would in a water or an aloe vera juice base. So there is no oil in this formulation. Then we also don't have any fragrance, silicones, parabens, essential oil, dyes, and sulfates. So that's a pretty good no list too, especially given the fact that uh, there are people who prefer that. Now, I particularly don't have such a huge preference, but if you do have a preference, then you also have an option in a brand as such as Minimalist. Now, there is only one ingredient that I feel is a little hmm on this list, which is propylene glycol, because it can be a skin irritant if it's used even at like a low percentage of 2%, but because it is placed above salicylic acid, and salicylic acid is a 2% in this formulation. It makes me feel like it's more than 2%, so it can definitely act as a skin irritant. And that is something that you must look into. If propylene glycol is something that your skin does not accept and does not work with, then this product might not be the one for you. Let's talk about the texture really quickly. Now the texture of this product is very lightweight. It's very liquidy and watery. It's not heavy or thick or sticky. So it does get absorbed into the skin pretty quickly. It doesn't take a lot of time, which is something I love. And now I just want to talk about my experience a little, take you through how my skin felt and everything so you can see how it went through. And then we'll move on to our pH test and a couple of more things about the product before giving my final conclusion. So today is the 29th of September and I'm going to start using Minimalist Salicylic Acid 
acid serum this is a 2% formulation so it's pretty strong and this is supposed to be really great for your blackheads as well as your oil production now I'm from the dry skin type so I'm gonna be layering it up with a lot of moisturizers and oils but if you're from oily skin type this might help you the directions of usage that they've mentioned is you can use it AM and PM and you have to gently pat one to two drops of this onto our face and neck after cleansing we're supposed to use sunscreen and limit the exposure which is of course true in the case of any exfoliating acid now on the product itself that they've mentioned that eight out of ten subjects notice improvement in visible skin clarity in two weeks however I think I'm gonna be trying it out for a month because two weeks is not really enough I feel like I've tried things for two weeks sometimes it's enough and you don't want to go beyond two weeks but with um, actors like these I think I should give it more time if I do see a difference in two weeks however I will let you know so I'm gonna take one to two drops like they've mentioned so one oh, oh I got two right there and I'm just gonna pat it gently into my skin Again, this is what my skin looks like in the beginning of this experiment. So next time that I'll see you this zoomed up and up close and personal, you'll see my skin once we're done with this trial period. Slightly different background, we've shifted from t-shirts to now sweatshirts because it's 18th of November and it's been a long while since I've been trying out the Minimalist Salicylic Acid 2% Serum. I've completely formulated my opinions on this one and I cannot wait to share all of my findings with you guys. Now, the main reason why I was trying out this serum was for its effectiveness on blackheads because I have so many blackheads on my nose, it's insane and I extract them really frequently and yet they just find a way back to me and it's just... At this point, I've just lost hope with them. But when this came around, I was like, hmm, maybe not. Let's just try this out. I have to say that the serum works way better on your pimples than it would on your blackheads. I had a couple of breakouts right here when I filmed the first part, when I started trying it out. And that just shed off within two days. It was insane, you guys. Like the cell turnover was amazing. And then a couple of days ago, I got breakouts right here. They're dead and they're healing so well. Like it's all flattened. And it's just the pigmentation that needs to go. But again, the cell turnover was so amazing so if you're someone who gets pimples here or in there or if you have mild acne not cystic acne just mild acne then you can definitely try out the serum it would help you guys out if you are looking for a solution to blackheads I don't think this would help you out so much because I still have so many blackheads on my nose I extracted them a week ago and yet it is just so rough and so textured so for me for blackheads this didn't really work but for acne and for pimples this is amazing I also have to tell you guys that this might make you feel feel like you have a little dryness on your face because salicylic acid can do that to your skin sometimes so you might want to just layer up on that moisturizer to ensure that your skin feels nice and hydrated at all given times. So that was my experience with the product. I use it only once a day, not twice a day, as it's mentioned on the packaging. It's really important to not overdo with your actors. If you're just starting out, you might want to start out with like two or three times a week and then build your skin's resistance up to it. Now, I quickly also want to talk about my pH test because that was pretty interesting. Now, the pH that they've mentioned on their website is from 3.5 to 4. So we do have quite a huge range in between. It's not just a difference of 0.5. pH doesn't work that way. pH is about the the strength of the product the acidity of the product and even a 0.1% makes a huge difference so we have a very huge gap like the, from the 3.5 to 4 but when I tested it on the pH paper it actually came out to be very close to a 5 which is still on the acidic side but it's not gonna be as effective and I think maybe that's why uh, my blackheads didn't really get dissolved I feel like the pH adjuster could be dialed down a little in the formulation because it's adjusting the pH a little too much much and you want that acid to work on your skin of course you don't want it to burn your skin but I feel like you know it could use a little bit of jazzing up now a couple of more things that I felt like I needed to talk about is the fact that they say that they have clinical trials going on uh, for all of the products but again when I read up about it it's only on 10 women 10 women guys like I mean what that, that's not enough that's not enough study I feel like they should be studying on more women minimum of 100 women because there's just so many different skin types and textures to look at and 10 is just not enough they say that 8 out of 10 women saw a difference in two weeks now I think I'm in the two out of 10 who did not really see a visible difference in my skin in two weeks and, and even like in four weeks my skin yes it feels good but again the base that I started with wasn't too bad either and the only place that I really wanted to see a difference were my blackheads and there was no difference there so 
that's something to think about the study scale is too small and they really need to like increase that for us to have a conclusive study on all of these things to wrap things up i would like to say yes it's an amazing alternative for the ordinary in india because you get actives and all of that it's great but please tread this path carefully you have to think about what your skin likes because again it might sound nice that like, i love a juice base yay love it but your skin might not love aloe vera juice so much always patch test first make sure that your skin loves it and accepts it if you purge give your skin about two weeks if you keep on purging after three weeks then it's time to like say no no to the product purging is a real thing i didn't really purge with the product because my skin already has a very high resistance to actives and acids and that's why maybe i didn't purge but you can definitely purge with an active like salicylic acid and that to at two percent so make sure again you tread this path carefully Overall, if you are looking at a solution for your breakouts or acne, then yes, this would help you out. But if you're looking for a solution to your blackheads, then it might not help you out. At least in my case, it didn't work that way. It should have, but it didn't. Maybe because of the formulation or something or the other or something I did wrong, but it didn't work out for me. And I've been trying it since a while. I've tried different moisturizers, different everything. Mm, didn't work so well if you are going to be using this again please top off with the nice heavy rich luxuriant moisturizer please wear sunscreen the other day because you don't want your skin to go through photosensitivity because that would age your skin burn your skin and a lot of other things that you don't want to happen to your skin and yes that's going to be my review my opinion completely and wholly solely my opinion on this product i hope you guys enjoyed this and found this review helpful if you want me to do more reviews on minimalist products and do let me know and which one in the comment section down below and i would love to check them out as well it might take some time because i really like to like try things out and then talk about it but yes i would love to review whatever you want me to review i'll see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much bye <laughs>